And when God created the heavens and the earth, when God created the heavens and the earth, if you look in Genesis in chapter 1, one of the first things that God did when he created the heavens and the earth is what? He said, let there be light and there was light and then what happened? He separated the darkness from the... The first thing he did in creation was he created light and then he set time. Because the day and night was set in place because the earth was beginning to go around the sun and the revolution and the, uh, and the rotations were set in place and, and the sun was giving light. That was a great light and day and night was sent by, set by earth being poor, kept in place and, and the waters and the land were separated. But before the water and the land were separated, the first thing he did was he set time in place. If you take yourself outside the rotation of the earth and you hang in the middle of nowhere, what is the time? You understand what I'm saying? What is the time? When you go outside that reference, there is no more time. So when God came and he said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, there was no better way to define himself in chronology other than saying, I am the beginning, I am the ending. Because if he is on earth, well, okay, this is the time. If he goes to Mars, what is the time? Do you understand what I'm saying? Time has a lot to do with the, the point of reference. Many things that we see in our life has a lot to do with where we're standing, how we're looking at things. And so when God says it is time, he was talking about an event that was happening here at this point, in this place, at this time. What God had to do in reference to earth. So the first thing that God did was he, when he did creation was that he put the times and he put the seasons in place. He separated the waters from the land. He separated the earth and the waters and land. And then he said that he, he created the plants and the trees and all of that. And after he did that, the first part of creation was a miracle. From then on, he connected the everyday miraculous to time. He plugged on even the miraculous to time. What he did is every day, see, every one of us, the fact that we're born and we're growing and all of that, uh, or we're growing old or whatever is connected to time. So the fact that you and I are born itself is a miraculous. But he connected it to a time. That's why the Bible says in Psalm 139, he says, when I was in my mother's womb, that's the beginning of the physical life, oh, I was fearfully and wonderfully made. He connected it to time. Because he knew that if we don't get a grasp of time, we will miss out God's strategies here on earth. If we did not refer back to time, we would miss out the plans of God. We'd miss out the, the call of God at this age, at the age of 30, that Jesus would rise up and go be baptized by John. We would miss out the times of God. So many people are missing and messing their life up because they have not stayed in touch with the times of God in their own life. 